For the past few weeks, I have been preparing for something that I have wanted for a very long time. And today, it's gonna come to fruition. Sorry, that was probably like the most unattractive face ever. Oh my God, my hair. But today, the Silly Goose Boy gang is going to grow. By how many? I don't know yet because we're gonna go to the Humane Society and see what they got. I was looking at their selection online and I saw some little friends that I was interested in. I have ordered a massive cage. I have assembled that cage. I have rearranged my entire office. I ordered a playpen for the backyard. We got food, we got treats, we got accessories. We are ready to get some guinea pigs. This by no means is a spur of the moment decision. I think I first mentioned like the idea of getting guinea pigs back in the Joshua Wiseman video, which was like a year ago maybe. And I have been thinking about it ever since. Getting new pets is not something that I take lightly. Um, I know very well because of Douglas and Chetty, just how expensive that they can be. Chetty racked up a $3,000 vet visit not too long ago because he had a urinary blockage. But having animals and taking care of them is something that brings me a lot of joy, so it is worth whatever cost is associated with the animals. And I have been obsessed with guinea pigs for a very long time. This is not the first time that I've owned them. I had them growing up. Actually, the only time that like I got in trouble at school was like for art related things. <laughs> consequently enough, but I would not do any of the assignments that they assigned and I would just draw guinea pigs the entire class. So guinea pigs were my special interest and I am very excited to own them again. They're just such little cute creatures and they have like little sassy personalities and they're just great. And having pets and having something to take care of I believe is very good for your mental health. What is also good for your mental health is therapy. And that is why I am super excited that the sponsor of today's video is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. You can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and professional therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. And I know personally for me, getting started was the hardest part of therapy. And that's why it's awesome that BetterHelp makes it so easy to begin. You just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences for therapy. That way BetterHelp can manage you with the right therapist for you from their network. Then you could talk to your therapist however you feel most comfortable, whether that's via text, chat, video, or phone call. And you have the option to message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. For if whatever reason your therapist doesn't end up being the correct match for you, you could switch to anyone at no additional charge. So with better help, you get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from regular in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom custom picked for you, has more scheduling flexibility, and is more affordable. So if you're interested in starting therapy with BetterHelp, you can head on over to betterhelp.com slash Beatrice. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Beatrice, where you can get 10% off your first month of therapy. There's like an influx of guinea pigs at the animal shelter. I'm not sure why. And it's just sad. I think like parents get them for their kids as like a starter pet. And then, you know, like the kid doesn't take care of them or whatever else. And then they end up at the Humane Society. So if you're thinking about getting a guinea pig for yourself, check there first. Anyways, I'm so excited. I am going to finish getting ready. We are going to go swoop up Elmo and then we will get this guinea pig road, guinea pig show on the road. We get some pigs. It's not excited. <laughs> One pig, right? We'll see. Like man got its Chinese. Like man got its Chinese fix. Oh, I guess I didn't tell y'all. I call my mom Wegman now instead of Elmo. <laughs> it's just funny. Nobody knows why. I think it's a grocery store chain that we don't have here. <laughs> Wegmans. <laughs> uh. Well, thank goodness you're not calling me Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> uh, speaking of Piggly Wigglies, let's go. Okay. Waited long enough. Ooh, it's hot in here.
So cage breakdown, I got this massive CNC cage for the pigs and it ended up being seven and a half feet long and about two and a half feet wide. So lots of room for activities. It takes up an entire wall in my office, but it was worth it because this cage is awesome. I got the fleece liners going with smaller ones to change out more frequently in high P areas. And of course for extra coziness. You know, we got that Timothy Hay Cubby, which is proving to be a big mess. And of course food, we got toys and hides. And we're all set and ready for the pigs. This one is cornflake. This furry baby is gazpacho. Oh. Not as curious about the camera. And this one is Barbara Streisand, also a boy. So guinea pigs acquired. They're pretty cute. They tuckered themselves out, checking out the whole new apparatus. So I'm gonna let them just like hang out, chill, and we'll do something productive. Or, oh my God. That dot has been on the lens the entire last half of the video and I forgot to clean it. And then, so it's been on the entire first half of this video. <laughs> Damn it. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe I shouldn't just like sit here in this bean bag and watch Mer People. I don't know if you're watching that on Netflix though, but it is fantastic. If I had the opportunity to try to swim with one of those tails, I would, but I wouldn't go out of my way to do it. But people are like living that life. Like they're living it all about being a mermaid. What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, I should probably do something productive instead. Um, I recently got shamed for my car being an absolute disaster, but what can you do? I haul stuff back and forth from Lowe's all the time in it but uh maybe we should clean it <laughs> well I guess first order of business would be to deal with whatever happened here
gonna find the power to No one is sure that that is going to stay. Just letting everybody know now. After letting the guinea pigs marinate for a bit, I took them outside to check out the little outdoor area that I made for them. I don't know if they were still tired or just not interested in the outdoors like me, but they kind of explored a little bit and then all congregated back in the basket that I carried them in in. And oh my goodness, Big Booty Judy. I was thinking that capturing them in the grass was gonna be difficult, but uh... <laughs> I don't think I have to worry. <laughs> oh, you guys. I was scrolling through like all my old pictures and videos just to see what I had because I do this thing where I screenshot stuff from time to time and it's just like a graveyard of like things I want to try or like half-baked ideas. Um, anyways, I came across this. I was like, oh, why is there <laughs> a naked man? <laughs> and I screenshotted this because it has the ingredients to like this um, Asian cucumber salad. You know, like the ones that are chopped like all spirally. Those were a thing on TikTok maybe like last year. Of course, I'm tardy to the party and I'm just now remembering that this was a thing. Why don't we I was shocked. I was like, what is this? But yeah, seems pretty simple, seems pretty straightforward. And we can see if the guinea pigs like cucumber, minus the swath, of course. <laughs> Look at this nubbin. Okay, he put the chopsticks on the side like so. And we just kinda do your thing, baby. What is the likelihood do you think that I'm going to F this up? Hot dog, hot dog. We made a shape. We'll give the pigs a little bit because we don't know if they like it yet. Piggly wigglies, oh my God. Look how dirty this cage got in one day. Have I made a mistake? Would you like a cucumber pig? A cucumber? Oh! <laughs> you will shit. It loves it. Like this? Uh oh, it's thundering. I know, Dougie. I'm sorry. You're okay. <sighs> Thunder. I gotta get Dougie his muffs on. We have to pause the cucumber making to make Douglas a thunder cubby. Come on. Come on, sit down under. Get in your thunder cubby. Sit. Sit. Good boy. 
the closet is a good place for Douglas to have a thunder cubby because it like dampens the thunder noises. Okay, back there, Dougie. Come on. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Okay, well, <laughs> this night didn't turn out the way that we thought it would. <laughs> gonna have to revisit the cucumbers at a later date but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one bye <laughs>